Hello all. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So let's start up. We have started with the modeling of this locomotive engine over here. So let's continue it. So very first of all, we'll start creating this part over here. For that, let's go into this side view over here and let's take a line tool over here. We're not going to side view, we'll go into the front view and let's take a line tool over here. Let's, sorry, take a rectangle tool. So, So go into this and convert to editable spline just push this down and also we need to push this out a bit <coughs> excuse me Now what I can do over here is, I'll just push this till here and select the vertices and let's go over here and let's take a fillet. So we'll just give a bit of fillet over here. Once you have assigned the fillet over here, let's give a extrude modifier over here and increase the extrude setting Okay, so let's extrude this a bit more till here. All right. So now let's go into the side view over here, convert to editable poly and let's take a cylinder over here and activate this auto grid option and just push this out so before we go with this uh, reduce its uh, sides over here and just give a color to it. Copy this again. So select this both. Shift and copy it. So go to the front view. So and isolate this. Isolate the selection. Let's take the cylinder.
push this out over here so you can just push it in positive axis and increase its size increase its radius convert to editable poly go into this insert it and again extrude a bit all right so select this so we'll just scale this down copy this and increase its size that's all so right click and just and isolate this stuff save your file over here so now if you see over here we need to create this uh, kind of a pipe over here for that let's take a line tool over here deactivate this option and just push this till here so we'll go into this rendering enable in viewport and increase its thickness over here that's it so once you increase its thickness once you're done with this so now what i'm going to do over here is like let's go into the line and just push this till here convert to editable poly so let's use a swift loop select this edge over here of this so we'll go into this select this edge ring it and control and click on this polygon and let's extrude it and local normal over here so if you want we can uh, just undo this not a problem we can just put one swift loop over here so select this ring it control and click on this polygon and extrude it and click on so control and click on this rotate it all right so just keep on saving your files over here so now what we are going to do over here is like let's go we'll create this base over here for that we need to go into the front view over here and let's create a base for that let's take a box over here let's take a box so once you are done with this box just push this box over here and increase its height and just push this box just increase its height that's it all right now what i'm going to do over here is like we need to create this 
wheels over here for that what we are going to do over here is like let's take a cylinder over here let's take a cylinder just push the cylinder down so you can just push it a bit behind this and you can just push it inside so make sure it is not coinciding anywhere so select this and increase the number of sides so let's convert to editable poly over here so just select this and let's give this convert to editable poly so press 4 over here select this and use insert click ok use extrude push it inside So let's go over here, uh, scale this, take a swift look, select this ed edges, ring it control and click on this polygon and use a bevel option by local normal reduce it okay so once you're done with this uh, select this edge again and let's give a bit of chamfer select this and let's give a chamfer so select this polygon and use a inset option Now what we can do over here is, let's again take this uh, copy over here for this wheel over here, let's take a copy of it and make sure you are resizing it. So push this up. Till here. So go into this front view over here and just push it in this way. Go into this vertices and just adjust this. We need to work on it now. How we are going to work? So if you want, we can take another also but we are going to work with this so very first of all what I am going to do over here is like if you want you can put one loop over here let's put one loop over here so let's go into this polygons so select this so we can uh, select this one by one
So once you are done with this, so what I am going to do over here is like, I am going to extrude it inside and I am going to delete it, select this and inset it and delete this stuff. So just save your file keep on saving the files so and isolate this again over here so definitely we are going to work with it so we will continue the rest of the part in the next tutorial so thanks for watching this tutorial